What's up guys, it's Totentons back with another Kingdom of Loathing video, finally. Uh, this time I have decided that I hate myself, so I'm going to do a Nuclear Autumn run. Uh, I've never done Nuclear Autumn before, and I actually don't know much about what to do with it yet, so this is going to be a learning experience. Um, since we don't have Astral Energy drinks anymore, um, obviously the only choice is Astral Six Pack. And for Pet Heaven, I'm going to go with the Astral Pet Sweater. And let's just uh, perm a couple things here. And I'm going to head for the Bureau Reincarnation. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the uh, Normal Run, just to be safe. And of course, Older Paths Nuclear Autumn. And I uh, do normally play as a Seal Clubber. But i um, thinking I might go with a Moxie class this time. And for signs, I'm pretty sure that we don't need a meat car this time. So we don't need to be one of the grassy knoll signs. So I'm going to go with the, the uh, Wombat. Oh, hold on. Is the Wombat what I wanted? Now it's making me second guess myself. Oh yeah, that's muscle gains. Uh, let's do... Actually, that's extra meat from monsters too. Plus five adventures per day from booze. Well, anyway, I'm pretty sure the Wombat gives extra Moxie stats after fights occasionally, so I'm going to stick with that one. And check yes. And then once more into the breach. All right. Your eyes snap open, but the darkness that surrounds you is complete. You feel weird, like your body isn't your own or even human. You try to remember how you got here, but nothing comes to you. Before you even have a chance to panic, a hiss and a clunk herald the arrival of blinding light as a door opens in front of you. You stagger out of the weird upright coffin booth thing and find yourself in some kind of metal walled vault. You see a sign on the wall opposite the booth. It has been zero days since our last nuclear apocalypse. Yikes, that doesn't sound good. Let's head outside. All right, so our little new life script is running through the uh, detective cases, so we'll give that a second to complete. So it looks like our fullness, drunkenness, and spleen are both, all three reduced. All right, you open the hatch, head outside, and survey the destruction around you. Hmm. Other than a slightly greener than usual sky, you don't really notice a whole lot different. All right, let's head on over to the Toot Oriole. We'll open up our pork health goodie sack. And let's head to town. Hmm. Crazy horse looks like it might be the way to go right now. Let's grab our cowboy boots. Alright, so I'm going to have the guide open and uh, see if hopefully that will help us out. Looks like we're not going to have access to any of our permed skills, so no calculate the universe. And we have a uh, combat skill called finger knives and a passive two right feet plus 10 item drops from monsters. And let's put on our cube, do our daily deeds. I'm going to take a uh, moxie shower. 
visit our chateau desk. Let's do uh, our draw for Moxie stats. So if our fullness is only three and our drunkenness is only two, there's no way we're going to be able to use any browser cookies or hacked Gibsons, since those are four fullness apiece. And looks like our campground is replaced with a fallout shelter, so no access to our witch set to get food from there. But we... Yeah, we do have access to the Snow Joe. All right, well, let's go bust our hippie stone real quick. <laughs> and then head over to Hank's and get some meat. All right, so we're going to pull a facsimile dictionary to auto sell. Let's pull an infinite bacon machine. And since basically only going to be drinking one drunkenness stuff. Let's pull a Mime Army shot glass just so we have a chance of having that be free. Hmm. Wonder if Smith's Miss Gear will be any good here. Ooh, we won't have meteor lore either, so we won't be able to use that. I mean, we won't be getting the booze at all to use. So, we might want to use those if we need to. Alright, let's go ahead and just head on over to the council. That text all looks pretty much the same as normal. Use our uh, infinite bacon machine. Let's summon some pants. Actually, let's see here. Twenty five percent all moxie gains, five of the funk or we could do three spider webs to get plus three I think I'm going to go with the plus 25 percent though we'll pull those and then let's go summon those pants again start over on that If it ever gets moving. There we go. Alright, we'll do Moxie. So we have like no stench resistance. And we gotta do the bat hole. So let's go with stench for today. Bacon stone. Oh, you know what? We have like no skills. That probably won't help. So let's just go with the maximum HP. And then I'll do the funk. All right, so we got our pants. Looks like I'm gonna have to restart Mafia real quick here. It's getting confused and thinking that I'm still in the uh, West of Loathing path. So we open the guide. And let's start getting our stuff equipped here. All right, I wonder how difficult combat's going to be. And so we chose that gnome sign, but we actually have no access to the 
Gnomish camp just yet, so we can't get um, torso awareness. But we can cast incredible self-esteem, apparently. That's strange. All right, let's auto sell that dictionary. And let's head on over to our chateau. And I'm gonna have to switch the uh, item there to the bowl of potpourri. Let's take a rest. Let's try casting that and see what happens. Yeah, we can. Hmm, strange. All right, so for weapons, I think I'm gonna just do the shank and then let's get a flask full of hollow. I'm sure one's gonna be enough since we have so little space for consumables. And then let's go to our tote. Grab some used tape and equip that. All right, so I think we're close to being ready for some turns here. Let's head on into the Tunnel of Love. Fight the Enforcer. Finger knives, what's that do? You plunge your finger knives into him, slicing him up for five damage. Ooh, looks like you severed some tendons and sinews and stuff while you were in there. <coughs> Monster attack power reduced by five. Defense only reduced by one, so it's a D-level. That's nice. Let's use a time spinner. D-level him a little bit more. You know what? Using a dagger is probably not the best thing to do when we don't have any of our skills. So we don't have the knife fighting skill. Smart. Good idea. Why am I extracting source essence? That's not going to help us out at all, is it? You acquire an item rad. This totally tubular object is a physical representation of one unit of radiation. Usable quest item. Hmm. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, we'll want to take the earrings. Let's fight the engineer, and let's just see what Wham tries to do if we let the script run. Yeah, let's get extract off of there once we get out of this. All right, let's take a love botomy. And then let's fight the equivocator. So we're probably going to want to use a ranged weapon. All right, uh, I think I'm going to go with the chocolate this time. Rad, mutate. Okay, let's see what that does. Oh, that's how we buy skills. Okay, so these all take quite a lot of rads. Extra kidney, extra gallbladder. Food gives 100% more adventures. Booze gets 100% more adventures. Internal soda machine. You can swallow meat and turn it into soda. And you don't even have to drink the soda. So do we use soda for something? Hmm. Extra brain. Mind bullets. Mind vision. What's that? Mysticality plus 50%. Extra muscles. So we got some elemental damage. Combat skills. Projectile salivary glands. That sounds nice. Magic sweat. That's a non-combat. That gives us hardened sweatshirt. Oh, plus 100 to damage absorption and... 10 to damage reduction for 10 adventures. Flabby ears. Adipose polymers. That's the same thing, just as a passive, but more damage reduction. Nice. That's 90 rads, though. Elemental resistance. There we go. 
We'll want that eventually. Moxie plus 50. Self combing hair. That's another. So we get boost to adventures from food and booze. Nothing for spleen, because of course we don't get adventures from spleen anymore. Well, actually, we could if we had items that would do that that were small enough, but of course we don't. So, let's head on over to the Floundry, and let's get the Clarinet, drain the spit, and equip that, since our Mr. Shank isn't going to be a very sensible option. And let's swap that for the Love Earrings, and let's go ahead and unlock our briefcase. All right, so we just got to wait for this briefcase to finish unlocking. And then, I suppose, we'll want to hit the Snow Joe and see if we can survive the 10 free fights there. Obviously, we don't get free fights from our Witches set. All right, so that is unlocked. Let's actually head over to the briefcase and uh, I think I'm gonna go with damage absorption prismatic damage we'll leave that at 5 to 10 HP MP regen and let's head on over to the snow Joe and see what happens here all right so we have let's see sources of food and booze so we have the snow Joe here we have the time spinner. That's really about it. So we'll probably have to pull the other stuff. But I wonder if we can either fax or wish for a witch's knight or bishop. Digitize that and get booze or food that way. I bet we can. Um, let's go ahead and hit the console. Change it to moxie mode. And let's fight. And we have our KOL con snow globe, so we're going to get some random stuff here. If we're lucky, we'll get some food that's actually worth a damn. Um, let's do it again. Are we not getting regeneration from that briefcase? All right, let's just keep going. We got our 11 foot pole. So we're we getting roughly one rad per fight. Yeah, it seems that way. Let's, uh, let's take a rest real quick here. Dang it. I forgot to turn off that stupid extract. Well, you know, we might want to extrude some goggles at some point, but and we're definitely not hurting for MP. I guess we can leave that on for now. All right, so we got our ring of detect boring doors. And we'll want to keep going until we get that set of lock picks. There's our iced plum wine. If we can get a one fullness food, we can time spin it to eat it a couple more times. Yeah, we got beat up that time. All right, we'll just leave the uh, snow gel alone for now. Let's head up back on over to the council, get our next quest. And then let's just go to the spooky woods. Yeah, our stats aren't super great right now. Can we survive this? The guide thinks we're going to get 30 damage per round, so we should be able to survive it. Actually, before we continue, let's rub our genie bottle. Get a 
the writing desk. Now let's digitize that thing. So we can uh, probably use our reanimated reanimator and copy something that way too. All right, so we're done with the cubeling. Let's uh, switch to our robin and then let's go to our mumming trunk. And it's funny. Duh. I was about to try to go to the witch's set and get our um, daily challenge out of the way to get the puzzle champ buff. That's not going to work at all. Okay. So. Let's go back to the spooky forest. And we have two more turns of delay. How much source essence is that? 30? There, one more turn of delay. All right, let's go ahead and do another turn here. And what I'm gonna do is head on over to storage. Oh, yeah, only three spleen, right? Okay, so if we only have three spleen, Wonder how useful this stench jelly will be. Well, our wiener dog still works, even though we don't have access to our campground, so at least we get a buff from that. Oh my gosh. We don't have access to our Asden Martin, so we can't drive uh, stealthily either. Duh, I'll put on the pet sweater, you idiot. Yeah, I think we'll want to not use that shoe gum. Okay, explore the stream. March to the marsh. And then let's use a stench okay. jelly. And hope that that writing desk didn't override it. Do I even need to uh, unlock the hidden temple right now? Is that going to save me time? I don't know. Either way, we just took about got it out of the way, so it doesn't really matter at this point, but our spleen is now full. Okay, so we don't have to worry about Ode because we don't have any skills to use it. And we only have two drunkenness. Let's get a shot of the Kardashian gin. All right, so, you know, we probably don't want to drink yet until we get that skill that gives us more adventures from booze, right? We've got 26 turns and we're at 24 rads. How many did we need for that? Sixty. Okay, so we need thirty four combats. 
Well, let's see if we survive this time. Did we get two rads that time? Gosh. Dang it. Maybe I should use this buff. Maybe I should have enhanced substats. God, get it together. All right, so we had 26. What are we getting this time? He tries to poke you with his exposed leg bone but you leg it away from him. Nice. We only got one rad that time. So why are we getting two? Sometimes. Hey, a potency one, awesome booze, plus 40 to monster level. I don't think we can handle that right now. Okay, so that time we definitely got two. Oh, it's the proton ac accelerator pack. Okay. Yeah, if you read it, it tells you. There's our first hot wing. A mutant gimp. Okay, so how often do we get the extra? Too bad we don't have a vehicle to feed that stuff to. There's risk for hot wings, though. Shoot. Hit the wrong button. I trank darted him. Anyway, there's our butter knife. We're at 34. We'll save that little bad boy there for later. Epic one potency booze. Majorly poisoned. Yeah, I think we'll avoid that. Can we over drink in this path? I would imagine we can, but who knows? All right, so we got plus two. We got an extra rat, basically, on the last adventure. We got the standard one on this one. And we still got one on that one. And that time we still got one. Still one that time. So it's not every other. All right. Yeah, I don't know what the pattern is. And we're definitely not going to get up to 60 before we run out of adventures. So, looks like we'll have to indulge in something. Oh, we can use an optimal dog later. 
Let's do one of these. And then let's head to the gate. All right, we might as well do the uh, other buffs here. And, you know, we could take care of the sheep one here. And, uh, you know what? We could have done a knife out of here. That probably would have been smart, huh? Let's head on over here. Forty turns. Let's switch to our reanimated reanimator. And then patiently wait for our facts to arrive. Swap back to our Rock and Robin. And wait for Mafia to catch up with us. All right. Rain of Detect Boring Doors. And let's head to the dungeon. We're going to use our lock picks. A pencil golem. Let's wipe him out. Okay, we got 11 more to go. Oh, that's lucky. <laughs> Shows how much I was paying attention. That booze we drank was free. Good thing we pulled that shot glass. Alright, take off that ring. Okay, so we have four turns left, and the hermit took off just before the bombs fell. Okay, so basically no source of clovers. Do I want to spend an adventure here to get a clover right now? No. We can just grab that some other day. Looks like this run's probably going to take us a few days. So normally I would clover the one of Junction there and then Yellow Ray the Beam Bat. I guess we could pull something to Yellow Ray with but we could also just pull some Sonar and a Biscuit since well, we only have six poles left. Hmm. Let's see. 
Well, we could clover and then pull one sonar and a biscuit. We can always pull some clovers if you have to as well. So yeah, let's just do that. Actually, we may want to just pull a yellow beret. What about bacon? How much bacon? Do we have 100? Viral video is 20. So let's actually do one more sonar. Let's disassemble our clover again. Why didn't I just use those while it's in there? Ten more rads. Normally, I would try to buff my meat drops here, but I don't think that's going to be a concern because we have plenty of meat and we're in soft core. So, all right. So the question is: once we get to sixty, do we want the liver? or I guess extra kidney, or the extra gallbladder. I think we're going to want to go with the gallbladder because we have three fullness available. So we're going to need to drink some. Go ahead and take that and that. And let's head back there. So we have 12 adventures. That should be enough to get enough rads for the extra gallbladder. Five more to go. Are we going to even hit 70 turns today? And we have how many writing tests left to go? Two more. Two more Snowjo fights. our ancestral recall and let's uh, eat our chocolate all right so we have no uh, we have trank darts that we can use to to banish and I guess we could pull some things to do banishing so that would make the niche there go a little bit faster and our item drops, we would have to switch to our tot. So I think what I'm going to do is there we go, we got a tennis ball. That'll work. One of those. And let's pull a cornucopia. We'll use the cornucopia. And then we'll make a gravy boat. And let's slap that puppy on real quick. And let's head on into the niche. We're gonna ignore the urns. We'll trank dart the senile lick. And we'll use a tennis ball on that one. And then we'll just fight this one, the dirty old lick. Fifty six. I'm not convinced that going hardcore would have made that much of a difference here. I mean, I guess pulling the stench jelly saved us a lot of time in the spooky forest. One more rad to go. Rad sickness one. 
Rad Sickness 2, minus 1 to all stats. Minus 2 to all stats. Okay. Plus 1 Radiation Sickness. That's new. Alright, well let's go get our Gallbladder. And... Let's eat a Jumping Horse... Is that worth pulling milk, you think? Yeah, let's hold off for a minute here. We got our uh, next horseradish coming. Well, our next night fight coming in uh, 12 adventures or so. Okay, so yeah, let's just um, keep doing what we're doing here. Twinkly Nuggets. Carrying on. Nice. We actually ran out of our best adventurer buff. Goddamn urns. There we go. Okay, that next night should be coming any time here. There we go. Let's wipe that puppy out. Okay. Well, our rad sickness is up to six. Okay, we have two poles. I'm just going to go ahead and pull a milk of magnesium and see if it's even worth the pull. What? Wow. That's crazy. 11... 12 adventures per fullness. Alright, let's go time spin another one. There we go. That gave us quite a lot of adventures for uh, three fullness. Wow. Let's go ahead and open that astral six pack while we're here. If we're able to nightcap, we may want to use that. Another writing desk after three more turns. The next gap will be 40 turns. So we should just make it. Okay, well, let's finish off this area here. Alright, so how do we get rid of this sickness? Do we go in the cryo sleep chamber? Let's go bust that ghost real quick here. Oh, are you? Should have ran that daily affirmation. Not strictly optimal. All right, so how do we get rid of our radiation sickness? Is it from resting in our cryo sleep chamber? I'm guessing that's what it is. I don't want to do the defiled cranny because I want to wait till we can use stench jelly again and we can boost our monster level up. So let's just um, try our chances here with only 141% item drop. And 
and we have a duplicate we can use today still. All right, we got an evil eye. All right, so we're only plus or minus nine to each stat so far, and we just leveled up. We shouldn't have used that viral video on a bean bat. Should have just hugged it with our exoskeleton or something. Oh well, we don't need ore anyway. We can always pull it tomorrow. All right, so we have 40 more turns till our next writing desk, right? 39, and we have 39 adventures. We're going to be cutting it close. My God, come on. Come on, give me an eye. Bastard. You're lucky you're dead. Oh, duh, I had the gravy boat on, so it didn't matter. All right, let's go ahead and make a key. Should we even do the goatlet? Six turns till our semi rare window opens. Looks like the guild leaders closed up shop when the bombs fell. That's a shame. The adventurers of loathing are going to need all the help they can get in the dark days to come. Okay, so I definitely want to wait six turns to do the outskirts of the Cobb's Knob so we can grab that lunchbox since it's going to have one fullness epic food and booze. So we may as well go fight some goats. A mutant drunk goat. You know, I really wish I had macro meteorite right now. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do it. Of course, I forgot to put the hat back on. Why wouldn't I? Trank that one. Of course, we have no uh, rooks to give us any Greek fire. And we can't access our camp, the gnome camp, to increase our monster level through the monster control device. Doesn't matter if we get milk, we just need the cheese. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's see what we can get with our rads. Why do we want an internal soda machine? Do we do something with the soda besides drink it? Yeah, these are all the uh, 
combat skills that do elemental damage. <laughs> I think we want to save up and get that extra kidney for tomorrow. We're at 42 rads. We need 18 more, so we should definitely have enough to get that today. The window's open, so let's head back over to the knob. There we go, we got the lunchbox. Might as well stick in here and unlock the, uh, the knob real quick. There's our next witch's night. That'll give us some food for tomorrow. And we're going to have an excess of time spender minutes. You know, we should have eaten just one and saved the other two. We'll have to do that tomorrow. I guess we could use the uh, other time spender minutes to power level. We do still have a couple uh, free fights left, I believe. There we go. All right, let's head back to the Snow Joe real quick. One more. All right, there's our uh, extra kidney. Now let's, uh, let's go to our time spinner. A mutant Cro-Magnon null. We have two minutes left. How did a red sickness go down? God, I gotta pay more attention. All right, let's use our uh, compounded experience. And that got us up to level 9, so let's visit the council. Do we get the leaflet still? Leaflet with stats. We'll get the grew egg, but that doesn't matter because we can't eat it. Our stomach is too small. Of course, we could always eat that affirmation cookie. Yeah, right. I guess if I was really desperate. All right. Let's just um, save some pocket wishes here. All right, so for the chasm, I think what we may end up doing is just pulling some smart orc keepsake boxes later on. For now, let's head into the harem. And 
and unfortunately we wasted a dart earlier because I hit the wrong button so we can't dart this guy. How does the harem girl get to jump on us? Oh well, we still got your outfit. Do we grab perfume? Or do we need to waste another turn here? Yeah, we gotta waste another turn. Okay, let's head over to the throne room. Okay, nine turns to go. But at least we can cliche things, right? That's the important thing. All right, general store is not open. That's what I thought. Doc Galactic, while he's showing there, is actually just a mannequin. Nice. Meet Ruins, store closed. <laughs> All right. So let's just head on over to the goatlet and let's try to finish what we were doing there. Of course, probably a good idea to put our other clothes back on. And there's our last piece of cheese. So we need three chunks of linoleum ore. I'll pull those tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Dang. This uh, extra kidney is pretty nice. Okay, so what to do with our eight remaining adventures? Well, I don't want to adventure here. Our initiative is only 50. There's no point in going there. Uh, let's just go ahead and go to the typical tavern. Hey, we managed to steal a tangle of rat tails. Okay, so do we want to grab one of these or do we want to save up? I think I want to, ooh, 90 though. Yeah. I think we'll try to save up though. The extra, well, you know what? We got a pretty decent moxie boost from just our gear. But I could save up for this one. We have plenty of MP. Well, that can be a problem for future Toten Towns to worry about. For now, we'll just keep our uh, rads accumulating. Surprised we got a Rat King with our monster level at zero. Maybe it was still at 30 at that point. Shoot. Are we going to get the writing desk? You know what? It'll be fine. Assuming we can overdrink. All right, let's try night capping and see what happens. So I think we'll want to save those Pilsners and we'll want to go with a Thermos. And we can overdrink, okay, that's a relief. Now let's uh, hit the Daily Dungeon, there we go. Last writing desk. Okay. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. All right. No. Dang it. Okay. Well, whatever. 50-50. I wonder if I was able to buy that in run, if I would have Calculate Universe then as a skill in run on this. That would have been hard to coordinate. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the day. So let's get things wrapped up. Uh, we'll want to head over to our briefcase and switch that over to Plus Adventures. And then let's just uh, try unlocking one of these buffs here. We got that one, and we have eight clicks left, so let's do meat. All right, well, we didn't get that one, but we almost did. Just pull that. Okay, so that's all our pulls for the day. And let's just check again. Might as well extrude some things, even though we can't use them. So we probably should have duplicated something at some point and we could have digitized that writing task over again or we could have used the uh, reanimator and digitized it and maybe used a boomerang even so that we could have gotten those out of the way a little bit quicker so that we could have digitized something else um, looks like we're at the window for our next night to show up so let's just see if we can get it yep we did that's lucky so that gives us another horseradish and so we have two of those for tomorrow and two pasties. So we can just eat one of those a day. That's enough food for the next four days because we can time spin the other ones. And I'll definitely want to be pulling milk for them. And the Pilsners, we have six still, but we're going to want to wait a couple more levels before we use those. And let's just see if the guide says anything else. Nope. All right, so I think we're done for the day. 44 rads. We're going to save up to 60 or 90 tomorrow. And uh, we'll pick things back up then. So um, yeah, definitely uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to keep updated with this, um, definitely my first time doing Nuclear Autumn. It's a learning experience. Probably should have read up on it first before I did it, but oh well. Um, so if you guys want to see me struggle through this run and uh, see if I can manage to do it in less than a week, then make sure that you tune in tomorrow because I'll have my next episode coming then. See y'all later.